Hey guys, it's Miranda Hughes here. So this is part two of my little adventure that I had today that um, some little tidbits that God gave me. Now I'm passing them on to you. So if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that like button, notification bell, um, and the subscribe button. Um, because like I said, I have a very random, not even schedule, it's just I throw them up whenever God tells me to. But I have nothing else better to do because I am waiting in a parking lot for my truck to be towed. But that's okay, I have time to talk to y'all. So, <laughs> something God wanted me to remind you, because I forgot to put it in the other video, was that don't rush the process. Don't rush whatever it is you're supposed to be learning in the season that you're in. So basically some things are just unavoidable if god really needs you to go through it it's gonna you're just gonna eventually it's gonna catch up with you you're gonna go through it regardless so as much as you try to avoid it and you would think i would all of us would learn this lesson but you know the things that god wants us to go through are oftentimes scary or it's because it's the unknown or it's something that he doesn't want us to go through but it's something that he knows that we could have a valuable lesson from um so it's for our good um, and if it's for the glory of God, no matter if it's good or bad, as far as like the circumstance goes is what I'm trying to say. Not sin. I'm talking about circumstance of how something plays out. It's all for the glory of God. Like you can grab a valuable lesson from anyone, anywhere, anytime over anything. So that's just how I choose to believe God works. Um, like today I had no idea that my brakes were actually going to snap completely. Like, I have zero breaks, but you know what? God is still good. He is right now, this is proof because he's getting a word out of this. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise over there. But anyways, um, it is extremely hot. So, again, I'm sorry. I'm sweating. But anyways, don't rush your season. Don't rush the lesson. Whatever it is that God's wanting you to learn, grasp it thoroughly. And take your time with it. God's grace is sufficient. Um, you're not going to get ahead of God um, entirely. Like, you know, sometimes we think we do, but we actually don't. Um, a lot of it is we're just not in the area where God's at. So, basically, kind of like what happened today is I was trying to jump the gun to get a head start in my career as a pastry chef. And I went to go get some equipment or tools that I really, really wanted. It was an hour drive and it basically bit me in the butt. <laughs> Um, I thought I was going to be saving money and now I pretty much practically spent all my money because now I have to pay for an expense that I was trying to avoid just like everything else um, that I went through last year and God's just like just don't go in areas where I'm not basically and that's easier said than done but if you take the time to truly spend with God to really ask him where you want where he wants you to go and where like to just find out the will of God for your life. Um, make sure you're spending time getting to know what it is that God wants you to do in your life and how he wants you to do it. The way that you do something speaks volumes of, you know, what kind of a person you are. And that's what God's also paying attention to is your heart. He's paying attention to, you know, how greedy are you? How giving are you? How patient are you? Um, he's just kind of, when he's testing you, he's testing these things like, and so today I was very impatient. I was very angry because my brother wasn't helping me get something accomplished. So I decided to take it in my own hands. And of course, <laughs> I ended up having to put that situation back in God's because look where it led. And the funny thing is that I was trying to avoid this this whole time. Like I've, I just bought this truck last day of February of 2022. I've only had it for a small fraction of time and like I only got to drive it for about a month because my brakes were starting to go out. I was trying not to drive it anywhere but I really really thought that I needed this thing for, I don't know if y'all can see it, looks like junk back there. But anyways I really needed it for school um, to do like chocolates and things like that, it's really heavy. Um, And now I'm caught between was it really worth it or was it not? And I'm not sure yet. Because I know that everything I do is for the glory of God. Even in my mistakes, even in yours, God's going to work everything out. However, God does, he wants us to be wise. He doesn't want us to be foolish. So he'll let us be foolish so that we can become wise. 
and his grace is sufficient for everything so even in the mess ups and the mistakes you know he can still pull off miracles he can still you know extend his grace in the midst of you making a mistake just don't ever take it for granted um you know god does a lot for us and really all he asks in return is that we be obedient and we love ourselves and love one another as ourselves and that we tell the world about jesus that's really about it that's all he wants and so today that's what i decided to do was you know what if god wanted me to get a message out I'm getting it out while I'm sitting here waiting because I have an hour wait before the tow truck guy comes. I don't I forget his name, but anyways, he's an awesome dude because I have an hour drive to get back home. And I called like three or four places and they were all like, no, 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 we don't do that. And like I said, God is still good. I just needed a time out and I needed to be reminded that, you know, I was trying to move very quickly. I was trying to, um, my desire started to get towards the wanting aspect of things instead of just staying on track with what God needed me to focus on. So a lot, if a lot of you struggle with that, comment down below or you don't have to, but you can give this video a thumbs up if, if this is relatable. And like I said, the verses that he wanted me to express and share with you guys about this lesson that I learned was Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 515. And he kept showing me 515 everywhere I went. Like I kept seeing 515. And I thought it was about James 515. But what he was trying to tell me was that I was, my desires were kind of, I was scrolling on Facebook market and just kind of looking for things that I needed or I thought I needed. And God's like, you may need those things, but you don't need them right now. You know, you can go another month or two you know before you need those you don't need them right this now I need you to focus on your assignment or excuse me I need you to focus excuse me over here or over here not way way over there on those things <sighs> so I got nipped in the butt by my own planning and scheming and that's okay not against anyone else just myself I was just trying to take a shortcut and like I said, God said no shortcuts no more. That's childish. So I got to learn to put that away and just do things the right way. Do things on time and to wait on God, basically. Don't rush the process. Like lean into the discipline. Lean into learning whatever it is that God is trying to teach you in this season. Even if it's painful. Even if it's boring. Even if it's frustrating. Even if it's just annoying and you just want it to be over with. Like don't dismiss it. Don't turn away from it truly take in what it is that God's trying to teach you and just you know you have you guys have your own experiences you don't need just mine to really point that out but you know I'm just using mine today because I'm just like you guys I'm an ordinary person um who chooses to believe in God and chooses to follow him and kind of got off a little out of alignment and it cost me a lot more and that's okay because I learned <laughs> like that I learned we're not gonna do that no more like we're putting that away so hopefully y'all learned something from this again the um, Bible verses that he wanted me to share with you was um, Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 through 16 and then Romans 8 28 so y'all stay blessed God bless you and just y'all have a great one okay and don't, don't beat yourself up. God can still perform miracles in your mistakes. I love you guys. Have a great one. Bye.